Welcome. We are continuing with Waves 1 and in this lesson I want to teach people how to interpret a displacement distance graph. So a particle is swinging in a transverse wave, <clears throat> then the graph is obtained whereby as the particle moves away, we are plotting the distance it is covering and also the displacement of the particle upwards and downwards. So this means it is a graph obtained from a transverse wave, whereby the particle is displacing some distance upwards and again some distance downwards. So when the graph is obtained, we have the displacement in centimeters, the y-axis against the displacement or the distance it covers. So the displacement, the vertical displacement, then the horizontal distance it covers. This is but the displacement, the vertical displacement is given in centimeters. Then we are told to indicate on the figure letters A and B of any two points that are in phase. So what we call points in phase. When we say that two particles are in phase in a given wave, we mean that those two points at any given moment, they are moving at the same direction and they are at the same position. So, for example, if we say this wave is flowing such that it is going upwards, then downwards, then up again, if we identify a point at this point, and we call it A, that point will move until the time it will be here again, after reaching the maximum displacement, now turning again downwards, the two points are in phase because a particle at A and a particle at B are moving in the same direction and they are at the same level. When we take a point which is somewhere here, we say this is our A, so that can be one of the answers indicating A and B. Again, any point, if we take A to be at this point, then up, it flows until it reaches again the same same point and going to the opposite to the same direction. So at A, the particle is flowing downwards and at this position. At B, the particle again is flowing downwards and it is at this point. Therefore, A and B are points which are at phase. They are in phase. One another. So we can also have a point in phase here and also a point in phase here. So any of these, these are points in phase, these are points in phase, these were points in phase. So any pair can do as long as at a given point the two the two points in those particles are going in the same direction. So if we take a point to be at here, going up. The wave should flow until we are at the same position and going in the same direction. Therefore, this point can be our A and this other one our B. Those are points in phase. Points in phase. Moving at the same direction at the same point. Roman 2. We are told to determine amplitude. The amplitude A will be, we know that amplitude is the maximum displacement from the mean position, either upwards or downwards. So this particle which is in a wing is moving a distance of 10 centimeters up. When it goes down, it also goes a distance of four, a distance of 10, 10, uh, 10 centimeters again. Therefore, we can say that 10 centimeters is our amplitude, which will also be equal to 10 divided by 100, which is 10 multiplied by 10 power negative 2. This would be 1.0 multiplied by. So we can make it meters like that. We are also told in the same question to determine the wavelength. So this wave has been given some distances. This is 10, this is 20, this is 30. This is 40, this is 50. Therefore, these are meters now. In the horizontal axis, we have meters. Therefore, we have from 0 to 10, from 10 to 
20. We can get the distance between two crests or distance between two points in phase. Distance between two points in phase. So what we call wavelength is distance between two points in phase. Or this is the distance in one cycle, which is called an oscillation. The distance in one cycle is what we are calling wavelength. So when we consider this case, from zero, the wave will flow until it reaches 20. At 20 is when the particle is at the same position going in the same direction. Therefore, we can say from zero to 20, we have 20 meters. So the wavelength which is lambda is 20 meters, 20 meters. So for this wave, uh, the wavelength is 20 meters. We can consider two particles in two successive press. So this will be five meters, this is five, and the other crest here is at 25. So from five to 25 is again a distance of 20, 20 meters. So that is how we identify the wavelength of a given wave. Then part three, part three, given that the frequency the frequency of the wave is 50. Frequency is 50 hertz. Find part one, the period. Part one, the period. So we want to get period, period T in seconds. And we know that period is given by one out of frequency. So the reciprocal of 50. The reciprocal of 50, which for this matter becomes 0 0.02 seconds. 0 0.02 seconds. Again, we are told to determine the speed of the wind. We know that speed, abbreviated V, is given by F multiplied by lambda. And for this, the frequency as 50. And the lambda as 20. For this matter, we will get 1000 meters per second. 1000 meters per second. So that is how we interpret a displacement distance graph. Displacement distance graph. So thank you for following. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you.